Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. We are all about the food on our channel. We do taste tests, what's for dinner, recipes, and grocery hauls. We are kicking off another week and we are trying this meal kit that I picked up from Aldi. I'll try to remember to link it below. Um, I was really excited to see this meal kit at Aldi um, a couple of weeks ago. So I picked up a Korean style barbecue stir fry kit and also a teriyaki kit. So it's really quick to make, as it says here, complete meal in five minutes. It says that there are four servings in here, but when you flip it over on the back, it has three and a half servings. So it was very easy to prepare. So let me show you what came in the packet. So you get fried onions, and they came in um, two little bitty like condiment little containers. So I got two little fried onions there, and then I got the sauce, and I never know how to pronounce it, so I don't. But the sauce came in a packet that looks like this, pretty decent sized package. And then you get a pretty generous amount of chicken that also came still in a package. And then I got two packages of noodles that came in a package similar to this. So what it says to do is just to put the noodles in the saucepan. It says pour. So I thought the noodles would be a little bit, um, I guess, looser, but they weren't. So the mistake that I made is that I didn't break up the noodle packets before I put it in the skillet. So I would definitely do that next time. And then it doesn't indicate that you should put oil in your skillet at all, but I did put a little bit of sesame oil just because I, I really like sesame oil when I have Asian food. So I put a little bit of sesame oil, probably a tablespoon and a half or so, and then I dropped in the noodles, and the noodles do look like this. They are fresh noodles, so I put in the noodles, and then you're supposed to let them stir fry, then you add in the sauce packets, and then it says to garnish with the fried onions, but I just put the fried onions in there and then I stirred them up. So Howard and I tasted this, and he has a much higher tolerance for spicy food than I do. I would give it a four out of five, with five being the spiciest, and he said he would also give it a three and a half out of, three and a half um, to four stars out of five as far as heat level is concerned. I don't think that a child would be able to handle the spice level. Um, it is pretty spicy, but it does have a good flavor, and it is kind of sweet. So if you're into more savory than sweet, this probably would not be um, the best meal for you. So um, we both said we would buy it again. Um, it was really good. And I think it was maybe $5.99 or $6.99 at Aldi, I can't remember. But it's actually, it's not bad, but it is very spicy. So if you cannot tolerate spicy foods, then um, this probably isn't for you, but has a really great flavor. Anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Just wanted to show you kind of close up what it looks like. This is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we're having tonight. We are having taco casserole using stuff that I already had in my pantry. So we had about three bags of tortilla chips that just had a few tortilla chips left in each bag. And so they were a little bit stale. And so I just wanted to share a tip with you guys. If that happens to happen to you, all you have to do is put your tortilla chips on a baking sheet, like a cookie sheet, stick them in the oven for about four minutes and they will re-crisp and be just as fresh as the day that you got them. So I wanted to use up those chips. So I used those chips and they are on the, they are on the bottom of the casserole right there. And then I had 16 ounces of refried beans. I added a cup of um, salsa and a cup of shredded Monterey Jack, stirred all that up, poured the beans over the chips, and then topped it with ground beef seasoned with taco seasoning, and then put Monterey Jack and green onions on top of that. And it the recipe that I found calls for chopped up tomatoes once it comes out of the oven, but I didn't have any tomato, so I didn't use it. And it also calls for olives, and Howard and I aren't huge fans of olives, so we didn't add that. Um, so here's a casserole, and here it is plated up on my plate. We are also having Mexican-style corn. It is, I think it's Green Giant, but it's the kind that has the peppers and stuff in it already, so we're having that. I accidentally threw away the um, can, and then here is the casserole on my plate. 
And of course you can top it with salsa or sour cream, whatever you'd like. Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it is cold and gloomy here and I decided to make some gumbo with this Zatarin's mix. We've never had it before, but I had it in the pantry and I wanted to use it. So we decided to make the seafood version and um, on the back of the box it says you can add chicken or sausage or seafood and I happen to have some shrimp in the freezer and that's what I decided to make. Um, it is a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. Um, the box makes it, so here it is, here's the consistency of it and it comes with rice and everything in it. All you do is add the protein. So it's thinner than what I thought, but it does have a good flavor, but it's definitely not as thick as it looks on the box. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am having Chicken Express, which is a local chicken place around here. And normally I get a two-piece leg and thigh, but after I placed the order, they said it would be about 10 minutes for thighs, and then I did not want to wait that long. So I ended up getting two legs, and I also got to pick two sides. So one of my sides is the jalapeno poppers, jalapeno poppers, and it's basically a deep fried jalapeno pepper stuffed with cheddar cheese. And then it comes with one roll, and I got an extra roll. And then for my other side, I got a fried cherry pie. I love these things. They also have apple. Um, Howard decided he did not want to eat this tonight, but then um, he just said it smelled really good, so he's a little bit jealous of what I'm having. He decided to have leftovers. I think he's gonna have the leftover um, gumbo or the taco casserole that we had the other night. So this is what's for dinner tonight, and see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard made dinner tonight. This is oxtail with butter beans and he slow cooked them. And so here's the butter beans. I made some jasmine rice to go with it. Here are the oxtail. If you've never had oxtail, which oxtail is new to me too. Um, I've only tried oxtail since I've been with Howard in it in its beef. Um, it actually comes from a cow, not an ox. And it has, you know, the same flavor as roast beef, but it's a little bit more fatty. And um, But anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And I also wanted to give you an update on something that I bought during my Dollar Tree haul. I'll try to remember to link it to this video. The seven spritzer, I got it from the Dollar Tree and you get eight cans. It's apple sparkler. And um, so we both tried it. Howard doesn't care for it, but he really doesn't like, um, like, you know, flavored water or sparkling water. I tried it and it does taste like just sparkling water with a splash, like a very light splash of apple juice. So anyway, it's not bad. I don't know that I would buy it again, but if you want something sweet and something a little bit more healthy, this would be a good option for you. Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.